Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. So welcome to a new tutorial of Revit families. So guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use an, an if statement or a formula to control the number of chairs in a table. And this specific video I'm just making because of this specific comment. So here someone has asked about how we can control the number of chairs based on the sizes. For example, if a table becomes 1500 mm or 2000 mm, so if it's 1500, there will be three chairs. If it is 2000 mm, then it will be four chairs. So how we can control this? So there are two methods. One is due by formula and one is by creating multiple types. So first we will use an if statement today and uh, this is because of this comment and i'm thankful like someone uh, watched it carefully and wondered that can we do this or not and also guys before starting this video today it is sunday and i had a really really tough week while working for my actual job so i would just request all of you guys that i am taking this time out time and efforts for your betterment so all i ask all i ask i ask for no money nothing i'm not putting out paid tutorial out there like other uh influencers i'm not even doing paid promotions on this video so i'm just asking you to go ahead and hit a like and subscribe to my channel because only only thing that keeps me going is your subscription and your support so go ahead subscribe and let's get started okay guys so this is how our table looks like and uh, here is the 3d view of that what am i going to do over here is basically control the number of chair and also remember one thing if you are using revit 2023 or 2024 uh, we still can't do number one array so for example for array command you need to have the minimum number that is two so two is the minimum amount of array that you can have at least uh, in 2023 2024 in 2025 they have changed it now you can have just one array so that is a different thing we will try it out in next session probably but here what we are going to do is control the number of chair based on the sizes and we will be going to use a f statement okay so this is the number of chair uh, that we created the previous command or the label uh, so if we change the number over here to for example three so there is another chair we will have to increase the length based on the number of chair so the comment was asking about how can we predetermine that okay if the size of the table is around uh, 1500 mm then there will be three chair or more than 1500 mm then there will be three chair and uh, what if the size is more than 2000 mm how many chairs it will accommodate so if we want to predetermine that uh, the best statement and the most simplest command or the formula that we can use is if statement okay so for if statement what we will be going okay before that i will just want to show you this this is the corner spacing of the chair so basically what i have done the first and the last chair so in our array command i have used first and last so there are two types of array command where you can choose like second first and second or first or last and everything in between will be populated so if it's first and last that means your first chair is there and the last chair is there and they can be fixed and whenever you increase the number of chair the central uh, area or the space will be populated so that is important to understand so that is one thing and i have given this parameter over here so that if i am changing it and if i want to do some fine tuning i can go ahead here and corner spacing of the chair i can just change this from 300 to probably 200 and you can see here this looks much better right this looks like okay this is a workable seating system of course it's not the most ideal but it is working and if i do 300 
it will be a little bit of inside and again not a bad but of course it's very crammed up now coming to the if statement sorry i'm taking this long but i want people to understand i just don't want you all to just uh, see something just see the formula copy paste this formula and uh, work on that i don't want that so that's why i'm explaining everything over here uh, now i've done it again uh, to chair now how to start an if statement okay now we will go to uh, number of chair uh, place and here you can see formula section so here equal to sign is already there so we won't put an equal sign unlike um, excel if you have used so i will start with if if bracket first is what okay if width is greater than so i will use a greater than symbol if width is greater than 1500 mm you don't have to put mm uh, it will understand because of the um, unit that you have set so if width is greater than 1500 mm next is comma then then what the command should do if width is more than 1500 mm then we need three chair so i will put three again comma now the statement will ask or else what it should do i'll say or else keep it to two so i'll put two and then bracket close so now this is now formula driven here you go you can see that now it's grayed out now you can't put any numbers over here and what we will do is right now it's 1500 but again we can't see three chair over here how can we see three if we go above 1500 mm so let's do 1600 and see here you go we have a chair as soon as you increase the size above 1500 you will have three chair and now uh, a lot of you might be wondering but this is just three chair what about more what how we can add formulas that okay if it's 50 above 1500 then it should be um, three chair what if we want to add another formula that is uh, if it's more than 2000 then it will be four chair so for that we will have to add multiple if statements in our command now let's go ahead and see how to put multiple if statements okay these are called logical statements as well so these are based on logic so here you go um i'll just erase this okay so if width is greater than 1500 mm then three chair then i will put comma and now next if statement if bracket if width greater than 2000 then what should we do then four chair otherwise 3 then i can put one more if statement comma if bracket close with lower than sorry if width is lesser than 1500 then two otherwise three now we have added total number of if statements that we have is 
फर्स्ट इज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड एंड ग्रेटर सेकेंड इज टू थाउजेंड एंड ग्रेटर एंड द थर्ड इज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड एंड लेसर लेट सी इफ इट वर्क आई हैव एन ट्राइड इट बिफोर सो नाउ थ्री थ्री इफ स्टेटमेंट दैट मीन्स थ्री क्लोज ब्रैकेट्स सो वन टू एंड थ्री नो ओके आई मेज डेप ओवर योर ओके सॉरी यू कैन पुट टू स्टेटमेंट्स ओवर देर ओके सो नाउ वी हैव अ फंक्शनिंग फॉर्मूला वेर वी हैव थ्री इफ स्टेटमेंट्स एंड नाउ लेट्स गो लोअर देन फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड आई होप फिंगर्स क्रॉस्ड लेट्स सी इफ इट वर्क ये इट वर्क so i have two chair when total number is 4 of course but when the width will be lower than 5 uh, sorry 1500 mm then there will be two chairs and as soon as we go above 2000 mm let's do 2000 mm it will become four chair let's see oh it is not above 2000 I'm sorry for that. I should make it two thousand one hundred at least. No, why? Let's see. Let's check our formula. A few moments later. Okay. I changed the formula over here a little bit so it's better to go in order from highest to lowest okay so first i have put over here is width if width is greater than 2000 mm then 4 okay and if width is greater than 1500 mm then 3 otherwise keep it 2 so now when i change it to 2100 it should comply with my command okay so now it's working now as we go above this we can keep adding similar command but also remember the mistake that i made over here was in the previous statement i started from the lowest to the highest but try to go in the other order where you are starting from the highest so here i can add one more statement where i can i am saying that if width greater than 2500 mm then 5 then i will put another statement width greater than 2000 mm then 4 if width greater than 1500 mm then 3 and if width or else keep it to 2 so 2 will be the minimum and 5 will be the highest so that's how it works and i hope this video helped you out i hope i was able to make you understand the basics of formula uh, i will probably post another video just talking about formulas and how it works it's a beautiful world of formulas where you are always guessing oh will this work will this work and this is actually a great way to learn mathematics as well because it's a visual way of learning where you are seeing that oh this is how your formula works this is how the spaces go down go up this is how things turn this is how a circle can be made it's crazy it's crazy guys so i will i will make a video about that and i hope you enjoyed it and you if you did please go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel comment in the comment section that how do you like these things i love your comments and i love it when you are actually watching and actually wondering like okay what else we can do with these formulas so these are all the things that i love and i actually like to share with you all because i know i know these kind of knowledge is rare to find on internet so yeah here i am showing you something that everyone needs to know 
one last try yeah it worked <laughs> so yeah this is how you uh, use it and now you can even adjust it more so yeah anyways take care of yourself i'll see you soon bye bye